What's up friends and welcome to Chris of Emery Animation. I'm Chris and today I just wanted to do a short video breakdown of my new animated intro that I finished a few weeks ago and that you just watched. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and also a reminder that if you want to support what I do, you can become a member of this channel with perks like full access to stream library and much more. With that out of the way, let's go! So in the making of this animation, workflow can be split into four segments. Title sequence, animatic, creating the artwork, and final edit. So jumping into this title sequence, the title sequence is where we spend almost half of the entire animation, and even more importantly, is where the whole thing lands to sort of present the viewer to the channel. So I knew I wanted to put lots of effort into this segment, Quickly explained is that it is a frame by frame sequence played in a speed of 12 fps with the last frame of the sequence being the full logo. At a later stage in the whole intro process I mainly added two things within After Effects. A shadow to have it pop by just duplicating the entire sequence and giving the copy a dark color overlay. And also since we are dealing with slime, I added a uh, effect called turbulent displays to get the wiggly movement. I have separate video tutorials on both those things linked in the description if you want to look more into how to do those things. Moving on to the animatic, this is where almost the entire animation is created in basic sketches. I've done this in Toon Boom Harmony, but it can obviously be done in any drawing based animation software. One thing I've been doing lately that might be helpful to someone out there is actually to do the sketched out animation with keyframes and all inside pegs or folders. That way you can easily just later on add the real art in the folder and have the animation intact. We are dealing with animation here folks, let's not burn more time than necessary. Virtual camera added in the scene with a few objects placed in different depths to have some of that parallax effect. In my video there isn't much depth to talk about, but still, even the small details like that can do much for the whole feel. And this leads us to the creating artwork segment, where I inside the pegs or folders, depending on your software, create the actual artwork starting with line art and then moving on with color and some light detail. The electric spark that wanders through the cables is actually just a simple frame by frame animation with glow added in After Effects which is another tutorial I've done linked down in the description if you want to dig deeper into that. At the final stage, we have everything animated and done and now there's just about importing artwork into After Effects and tweak colors, adding some effects and other things. For example, a quick way of getting that vignette look is doing layer, new solid, dark, okay. Then just double click ellipse tool, which creates a mask, hit inverted on the mask, and play with feather as well as with different modes to get the right vibe for you. Same thing at the end where the logo is appearing, I felt that the whole sequence was just way too busy. So I animated a slight blur on the background from effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. A general tip from me is to render something separately from other software like if it's a character from Character Animator, a frame by frame sequence from Animate or Toon Boom, and then have it all imported as separate artwork into After Effects, because that gives you full control of your work, like how that made it possible for me to try and blur only the background instead of the full animation, for example. Anyways, that was just a quick and probably sloppy breakdown of the new intro. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check the links in the description if you want deeper tutorials on specific segments. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.